Welcome to the three and welcome back this week's guest co-host, Mr. Kenny Graves. Very, very good to be back with you ladies today. Yeah. All I had right. a blast yesterday. Well, good. That was my first question. Uh -huh. was, we always like to ask, you know, one day, you know, you kind of feel a little nervous at first, but you feeling better today? Just fine. All right, let's do it. it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so Rolling Stone has published its list of the greatest 200 singers of all times. And there's an uproar over one name being absent from the list. The list ranges from Aretha Franklin to Rosalia and other artists with amazing careers, but Celine Dion is being left out and social media is throwing a bit of a fit. There were also complaints that others like Dionne Warwick, Diana Ross and Sting are included. Now, Kenny, you have interviewed some of the very greatest artists mm -hmm. of all time. How do you feel about this list? Well, I'd have to say Celine Dion, her body of work has merited her certainly being on the list with without exception, as well as the other names you mentioned there. And we, you know, we were kind of like looking at the list before this yeah. and you were kind of saying, <laughs> no, I don't think they should be on that list, but so and so should be. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what do you think qualifies people to be on this list? They didn't tell me what the criteria was. <laughs> yeah. Is yeah. it singer or artist or, yeah. or vocalist? Because there's some people who that? are good performers, mm -hmm. right? We were talking about Ozzy Osbourne. Sure, great performer. <laughs> but then the description is literally like, his voice sounds like nails. What does that mean? He's a good singer? He, should he be know. on there? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know. We have to see. All right, so <laughs> get your pillows and blankets ready because today is the Festival of Sleep Day. The day is meant to encourage people to relax and get much needed shut eye after the holidays. Nobody is quite sure when the holiday originated, but it's said to be founded by someone with a deep love for sleep. To celebrate Festival of Sleep Day, all you have to do is be able to find some time to restore normality in your life today. I don't care who created it, I'm down with it. I'm down, let's get some blankets, let's get some pillows. Festival, I like how they call it the, yeah, festival. the festival. The festival of sleep. Let's make it a party. A party, right. I don't right. really know what we're all doing here. <laughs> if it's a festival of sleep day, shouldn't we be sleeping? Could yeah, have, but everybody's like together, we so it makes pillows. it. We could have moved this and had a sleepover. That would have been great. Oh, okay. You know I'm always That's down for a nap too. Do you like nap? How you like? 40 winks, I'm all in. There we go, <laughs> all right, there it is. <laughs> well, Starbucks winter menu is active beginning today. And the highlight is the new pistachio cream cold brew. Hmm. The handcrafted drink features cold brew with vanilla syrup topped with pistachio cream, cold foam, and salted brown buttery sprinkles. It joins a returning seasonal fan favorite, the pistachio latte, which was first introduced in 2021. The winter menu also includes the return of the red velvet loaf to the bakery case. All right. Okay, Kenny, what do you think of this, Mr. Coffee Snob? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about pistachio. I'm not sure I've ever eaten a pistachio. Mm -hmm. I know they have a, a definitive taste, so I'd have to try it and let you know. Mm. I'm like that too. I'm not really like a latte person. Don't really like like pistachios in my Same drinks here. and stuff. So uh, I'll probably pass it I feel like there's a lot up. of people that like pistachio ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. So those are probably the same group of people who are really this. stoked to have a pistachio coffee. It's a no for me for sure. <laughs> I, was about to say it's too I much. don't want nuts right. when I'm drinking coffee. Right. It's too I much. I don't like that. <laughs> I think that's nasty. It's too much. <laughs>